So when, when I say the word percent, well, we use percent all the time. Give me a context of percent. Oh, good. Okay, so you got a 85% on the test. What else? How about sales? Haven't you ever heard of a percent yeah. sale? What's a common percent sale? 35% off. I love hearing that. 70% 70% off. You know, it's like you're mm -hmm. it's like they're paying you to buy it, right? It's awesome. That percent though, what's that percent actually mean? What's it mean? I know we use percents all the time, right? All the time. I've got an 85% on my test. I got a 35% off sale. I just saved 20% on my car insurance. You know, <laughs> all that sort of stuff that you, that you hear all the time, that percent signifies that you're saving something out of 100, or you're, you're, it's, it's represented on parts of 100. So for instance, if you have a 20% sale, for every $100 you spend, you're saving 20. Does that make sense? Yes. If you had a 78% on your test, that means out of 100 possible theoretical points, you got 78 of them. Does that make sense? The, percent, the word percent means parts of 100. So we're going to write that down. Percent actually means parts of 100. So here's what this looks like for us. If you have one percent, if you have one percent, what that literally means is you have one part out of the possible 100. For instance, if you hear one percent on a dollar, how much is one percent of a dollar? One cent. One cent is one percent. Why do you think we get the word cent? One part out of a dollar, one percent, one cent, that's a penny. So one cent is actually one out of 100. That's what that percent means, one out of 100. And there's another way you could write it. In fact, if you look at this as a decimal, you can write one out of 100. Hey, look at this, this everything's coming together for, th for us in this section. One out of 100, that's one one hundredth, right? Remember those place values? How can I write one one hundredth as a decimal? Point, Point zero, 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 one. One, zero one. That's one one hundredth. All those things mean exactly the same thing. Do you agree with me? Yeah. This is one part out of a hundred. This is one part out of a hundred. This is one part out of a hundred. This is one hundredth. This is one hundredth. This is one percent. Those are equivalent statements. Raise your hand if you're okay with that. So when we talk about percent, this is actually how you change from a percent into a decimal. We'll talk about that in just a minute. Now, of course, we don't always deal with just one percent. We deal with a lot of different percents, such as, how about 67 percent? Can you write that as a fraction first? Yeah, yeah. Sure, this is going to be how much? What over what? Seven over a thousand. Over a hundred. Over, it's always parts of a hundred. That's what percent means. So what's going to be on the denominator of your fraction? A uh, hundred. A hundred, yeah. This says 67 parts out of 100. That percent stands for parts of a hundred. Could you write it as a decimal? Yes. Decimal. 0.67. How are we getting 0.67? Because you move the, two, de you move the decimal two places. Yeah, exactly. Right. Let me show you something here. If you have 67%, if you had to put a decimal on this problem, where would you put the decimal? Right here? Yeah. No, I'm sorry, like right now, where would the decimal be? Um, back to the 7. So right here, if you were to write this as a decimal, it would be 67 point, point something, right? Yeah. In order to change from a percent into a decimal, from 1% to 0 .01, if you imagined your decimal place just after that number, you would move it how many spaces to the left? Two. Yeah, look at the board here with me, folks. If you move two spaces to the left, that's the same thing as identifying two zeros. Remember dividing by 100 earlier? You move it two spots. Here, you'd move it two spots. Here, you're going to move it two spots. That's the same thing as 0.67. So 67% equals 0.67. How many will feel okay with that so far? If you're not raising your hand, I'm assuming you're not okay with it. We'll, we'll go over it again if you need to. Are we okay with it? Okay. So 
what's happening here? How are we getting from, are we okay getting from the percent to the fraction? Now, why, why can we get from here, or here, I, I just rewrote it, here to here, where's that decimal coming from? We move it to the left. Why can we move it to the left? Well, look it. It's divided by 100. So if you had 67 divided by 100, that's like 67.0. Divided by 100, you move it two spots to the left. Two spots to the left, you get 0.67 out of that thing. Just like we practiced on our fractions earlier. Have you know what that stands up when it's on the calculator? Not on yours. Come see me after class. Okay, what I'd like you to do right now, write 19% as a fraction and write 19% as a decimal for you. It shouldn't take you long, just practice it, make sure you can do it. Yeah, as a fraction, we should get something over 100 because percent means parts of 100. So what do we get over 100? That, that's our fraction right there. And normally, if you were able to reduce these, you would. Now, these aren't reducible, so we leave them the way they are. How about as a decimal? What are you going to get as a decimal, folks? Yeah. 0.19. We change from a percent to a decimal by moving the decimal place two spots left. There's one other thing we can't, well, a couple other things we can do. One of them, what if you get a weird looking percentage? Because sometimes you, you'll see this, not often, but sometimes you'll see a percentage given to you as a fraction, like 66 and two thirds percent. Oh my, 66 and two thirds percent. We can actually translate that to a fraction as long as we understand what the percent really means. Check this out for a second. What's percent mean? Parts of the Parts of 100. So 1% would be 1 over 100. Are you with me on that? Yes. Check this out. This is kind of weird, but check this out. Are you ready for it? Mm -hmm. Firstly, could you translate this into an improper fraction? Yes. yes. Now, how much is it going to be? You can use your calculator if you want. Get calculators. 198. 200 over 3. Yeah, very good. So it'd be 200 over 3 percent, yeah? Check it out. This is, this is weird. This is something you could do, though. You could actually make this, ah, oh, shoot. 200 over 3 times 1 percent. Do you agree that that's the same thing? 200 over 3 times 1 would give you 200 over 3, right? The percent's still there. You with me? Are you sure you're with me? Check it out. How much is 1 percent equal to? 1 over 100. So in order to change a fraction from a, focus up here, in order to change from a fraction into a percent, a, a fraction percent into a, a fraction itself, all you got to do is break off that percent, and you just agree that this part, you just agree that that part is equal to that, right? Yes. Same thing as 1 over 100. Instead of a percent, 1 percent mm -hmm. is 1 over 100. You can do that. Can you simplify that fraction? Yes. Yeah. What simplifies out of that? That gives you a 1. That gives you a 2. You're simplifying 200 and 100. How much is that fraction going to be? A percent sign is the same thing as 1 over 100. If you keep that in your mind, that a percent sign is the same thing as multiplying by 1 over 100, you're going to be just fine. That's what the percent sign means. It says parts over 100. So if you think of percent or 1% as 1 over 100 or 0 0.01, check it out. If you multiply 67, that's what we did here. 67 times 1 over 100, that was 67 over 100. 67 times 0 0.01, that's 0.67. That percent sign stands for 1 over 100. Raise your hand if you're okay with that so far. Good, all right. So changing from 66 and 2 thirds percent into just a fraction. Notice there's no more percent, is there? 
you use the fact that a percent is 1 over 100 to change that from a percent into a fraction. In fact, if you did this right now, uh, you're, you're gonna, if you divide 2 over 3 on your calculator, you're going to get point, point, six, 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 and the very end there's going to be a 7. That's because it rounded it for you at the very end. Point six, six, six. That's 66.66666666% right there. That's what that is. So we've just actually only moved the decimal two spots. That's really all you've done. You've just done it in terms of a fraction. It's kind of interesting. I want you to try this one on your own. Do 7 and 1 7 percent. Change that into a fraction. I gave you a nice number there, didn't I? Yeah. Yeah. The nice guy this week. See how this thing works out. So we have 7 and 1 7 percent. Of course, we got a mixed number. We're, we're going to change it to a proper fraction. That's usually what we do with our mixed numbers. So we get 50 over, over 7. And we know that percent, that percent right there, actually means 1 over 100. Every time you see a percent, that's what it means. That's how we change from our decimals. That's how we move a decimal. It means 0.01 or 1 over 100. That's how it works. We simplify. 1. One and two. Sure, 50 goes into 50 one time, 50 goes into 100 two times. We're going to get how much? One over 14. That's it. Seven and one seventh percent is the same thing as a fraction, one fourteenth. How many people got one fourteenth? Good for you. That's fantastic. Very good. Hey, how about this? What if I gave you something like, instead of these whole numbers here, What about 0.35%? Could you change that into a decimal? Because right now it has a decimal, right? But it's also a percent. Can you change it to something without a percent sign? So just a decimal all by itself. I know it's 0.35, but it says 0.35%. Can you do the same thing as you did before? For instance, when I had to do 19%, you said that was equal to 0 0.19, true? Yeah. Yes. How would you get the 0 0.19? Because you moved the decimal. What decimal? The, the, the right. So we have a decimal right there? Yeah. And you moved it twice, right? Let's say you get the 0 0.19. Yeah. Can you move that decimal? Yeah. yeah. How many spots are you going to move it? Two. Two. To the right or left? Right. Right. Yeah. Right's going to change that. Wait, right, right would be this way. You want to move that way? Yeah. yeah. Which way did you move this one? To the left. left. So you say you move this one to the left, and that yet you're going to use right. this one to the right? Yeah, no. to the left. Mm. That depends on the left. Take it to the left. To the left. Mathematics should work the same all the time, no matter what you have. So if you have 
19% and you move to the left and you have 0.35%, you better darn well be sure you're going to move to the left. You can't move some things to the left, some things to the right. It doesn't make any sense. Okay, it doesn't make any sense. How, I want you to think about why you're going to move this to the left. Think about this for a second. You, you ready to watch it? Watch. You've got 0 0.35 times the percent equals 1 over 100, yeah? If you have 1 over 100, that's the same thing as 0 0.35 times 0 0.01. 1, 1 over 100 is the same thing as 0 0.01, yes? Do you agree? Do it on your calculator right now. Do 0 0.35 times 0 0.01. Actually, you could just think about it right here. Look up at the board. You can do it in your head. You can do it in your head. What's 1, 1 times 35? Well, it's 35. How many decimal places do you have? 1, 2, 3. How many? Four. Four. How many spots should you move from the four. four spots? That means you're going to go actually past what you were. It should be 0 .0035. Is that what's on your calculator? Mm -hmm. point zero zero three. So in order to get point zero zero three five, if you are changing, I'll make it real clear for you, if you're changing from a percent into a decimal, even if it already has a decimal, if you're changing from a percent into a decimal, you move that decimal place two spots to the, which way was it? Left. Yeah. To the left. So here we go, okay. We got 0.35%. We're going to go two spots at 0 .0035. 0 0.0035. Let's try one more, okay? Let's do uh, 0.8. Now, do you have to show me all this work? No. No, no, you don't have to show me all that work. You just need to know that you're going to move the decimal place two spots to the left to change between a percentage and a decimal equivalent for that percentage. Not sure if you're all right with that. Okay, so. Zero point eight percent. Zero point eight percent. That's true, it has a decimal, but right now it's a percentage because it has a percent sign. I want you to change that into a decimal for me. Are you going to get 80 or 0 .008? Point. Good, because we know to change from a percentage to a decimal, I move that two spots to the left, I need to create a zero. I'm going to get 0 .008. Hey, by the way, should I have a percent after that? No. No, I'm changing from a percent to a decimal, so that would be, that'd be incorrect. We don't want that. We want 0 .008. Here's one way you can think of it. The decimal equivalent should look like a smaller number than what you started with. So for instance, we started with <coughs> 0 0.08, right? Mm -hmm. The percentage should look bigger than this. The decimal should look smaller than that one. Same thing with here. 0 0.0035 looks smaller than 0.35. You with me? 0.19 looks smaller than 19%. Hey, also, could you go backwards? If I gave you a decimal, could you change it into a percentage? Yeah. Okay, let's try. Is that a percentage right now? No. No, no that's a decimal. It has no percent symbol. Can you change it into a percentage? Yeah. You're going to do the opposite operation that you just did. Okay, I'll show you mathematically why it works in a second, but I want you to get the practicality of this right now. How can you change 0.64 into a percent? What do you think? Move the decimal right. Okay, move the decimal left or right? Right. You're going backwards, correct? So here we moved it left to change from a percent to a decimal. To change from a decimal to a percent, we'll, we'll go backwards. So I know I said, well, you don't do left sometimes and right the other times, but if you're dealing with percentages, yes, you move it to the left. If you're dealing with decimals changing into percentages, you move to the right, and I'll show you why in just a second. So this, we know it should be 64, 64 what? Percent. You've got to show that sign. You've got to show that sign. Change. Yes. 
Why? Why do we do that? Well, if, if you think about it, we want to create a percent, right? We want to create a percent. What we do instead of multiplying by 1 over 100 to change from a decimal, uh, from a percent to a decimal, we multiply by 100 percent to create that percent, to create that thing. Otherwise, because if we did 1 over 100 again, it, we'd be dividing by that percent. There, there's no percent to divide by. That, that wouldn't be appropriate. We'd have something over a percentage. It wouldn't be mathematically correct. So if we multiply by 100 percent, what happens when you multiply by 100? Well, you, you move that decimal two spots, right? So we go, oh, yeah, multiplying by 100, two spots, and you still have that percent. That's how we're getting 64%. That's why you can multiply by that. Try that on your, on your calculator. Take 0.64. Multiply by 100. What'd you get? 64. Just keep in mind, you multiplied by 100%. That's why we have that percent up there. How many people understood, understood that? So basically, you're multiplying by 100 parts. That's what you're doing. Multiplying by 100 parts, saying, oh, OK. Well, those 100 parts right there signify a percentage. Yeah. You move it two spots. Two spots. Okay. What has to go there? there. Okay. Yeah, that's a good question. Thank you for that question. Hey, how about this? What if I have 1.78? 1.78. Is that a decimal or a percentage right now? That's a, does it have a percentage? So that's only a decimal. Can you change it into a decimal number? Can you change it into a percentage? Yeah. Which way are you going to move that decimal, left or right? Right. <clears throat> if I move it, am I supposed to go this way? Yes. No. This way. Right. Yeah. I'm changing it oh, into, yes. into a percentage, yes? How much is it going to be? 178%. The percent should be bigger than the decimal. It should be a bigger number. 178 should be a hundredfold difference. Hundredfold times, or sorry, a hundred times that number. It should be bigger than that. And it is, right? The percent number is bigger than that number. That's how it should always be. No matter whether you're going backwards or forwards, the percent will be a bigger number numerically than your decimal equivalent. 178%. Hey, why don't you try this one? I'd like you to write that as a percent for me, please. So it's a percent you left. If you're trying to change, you can't say when it's a percent or when it's when it's. You have to tell me what you're changing from and what you're changing to. Okay. Decimal to a percent left. When you're changing a decimal to a percent, you're moving it to oh, yeah. the right. When you're moving a percent to a decimal, you're moving to the left. It's whether you're dividing by 100 or you're multiplying by 100. That's the difference there. OK, I, I can foresee that you got one of two things. You either got 0. 0.00038 or you got 3.8. 3.8. 3 How many people got 3.8? Good for you. That's fantastic. If you don't have a percentage, you're trying to change it into percentage, you're basically multiplying by 100. Changing from a percent to a, a decimal, you're dividing by 100. But from a decimal to a percent, you're multiplying by 100. You're moving it two spots to the right, you got 3.8 percent. Yes. It's always by 100. Would you raise your hand if you're okay with this? Let's recap a little bit, okay? If I give you a percentage, if I give you a percentage, are you going to move that decimal to the left or to the right? Left. Left. If I give you a decimal, are you going to move that to the left or to the right? Right. 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 So if I give you this, let's try a few more just to make sure that you really get this, okay? Because I can see some of you are kind of like, ah, you're iffy on it. You're really iffy on it. 
So we're going to try 10 examples all mixed up. Here you go. If I give you a percent, I want a decimal. If I give you a decimal, I want a percent. See if you can handle it. Okay, I can't think of any more, so I'm done. It's stuck. I need you to be really good at changing from percent to decimal or decimal to percent. So if I've given you a percent, change it to a decimal. If I've given you a decimal, you change it to a percent. I'll give you about another minute. You got it about done? Let's give it a try. Where you start, is, did this help you at all? Get the hang of this, I hope? Yes. Yes, no, yes. Okay, I hope so. We'll see, huh? We'll, we'll find out. Yes. We have now 10.35%. 10.35%. I want to change that to a decimal. Now, there's two ways I'm going to think of this, okay? Firstly, I'm going to understand that the decimal must be a smaller looking number than the percent. You with me on that? Yeah. If I made that 1,035, that's making it bigger. I don't want to do that. I know the decimal has to be a smaller looking number. So if I move to the right, I went the wrong way. So this means I need to move to the left on this one. A percent to a decimal, I'm moving to the left. It's like that, listen, listen carefully, what you're doing here. If you're changing from a percent to a decimal, you're dividing by 100, or multiplying by 1 over 100, the same thing. You're dividing by 100. If you're changing from a decimal to a percent, you're multiplying by 100. It's either moving the decimal two <coughs> spots left or two spots right. That's all you're doing here, multiplying or dividing by 100. If you got the percent already, you're dividing. If he doesn't have the percent, you're multiplying to get that percent. So in our case right here, you had to go two spots left, and you get 0.1035. Did you get that one? Mm -hmm. Everybody? Yes. yes. Okay. How about that one? Does it have a percent already? No. no. In order to get a percent, I've got to multiply it by 100. So am I going to move to the left or right? Right. right. How many spots? Two. It's always two. It's always two. Three. 
No matter what, it's always two. 3.5. Just 3.5? Percent. Uh, you better show me the percent. One number should have the percent, one number shouldn't. The percent should look bigger than the decimal. The percent looks bigger than the decimal. Yeah, it does. Now, here, I have a percent or a decimal right here? Decimal. I need to change that to a percent. So do I move left or right? Left. It's already... Oh, right. It doesn't have the percent. So I'm multiplying 100. That means it's either 0 .0456 or 456. Which one is it? What? Percent. Again, the way you double check your work, make sure the percent looks like a bigger number. Does 456 look bigger than 4.56? Yes. Yeah. Sure. Does 10.35, uh, that's the percent, right? Does that look bigger than 0 0.1035? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. The percent should look like a bigger number than the decimal. One point two four percent. Left? Right. Left. 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 How many spots? Two. Okay. That means I'm gonna get zero one. How many got that one just out of curiosity? Four zero one four. Great job, okay. And you could put the zero up front, doesn't matter. Uh, I like to occasionally. Does the percent look bigger than the decimal? Oh yeah. Yeah, so we're getting we're on the right track. How about 123 percent? 123 percent. What's that going to give you? One point. Where's the decimal though? You got to create one, right? Yeah. You got to create that decimal. If you move in two spots, you get 1.23. 1.23. Okay, four more left. I've got a decimal. I need to create a and make a percent out of that. <coughs> To make a percent, am I going to go to the left or go to right. the right? right? How many spots? Two. So you should get... 0.4 percent. Don't forget the percent. One of these numbers has to have a percent on it, if you're going to change between them. 12.95, that doesn't have a percent. I'm going to make a percent out of it. That means I'm multiplying by 100. That means I'm moving the decimal to the right two spots. You should get 1,295 percent. It's a big percent. I give a thousand percent effort. Point zero four six percent. Point zero four six percent. Oh my goodness! How do we change that into a decimal? Which way do we move that? To the left. To the left. Wait, to the left. There's nothing to the left. To the right. So this means you're dividing by a hundred, right? Yeah. That means that means you're going to make that number smaller. Remember, the decimal needs to look like a smaller number. If I moved it this way, I'd have 4.6, right? Mm -hmm. That would look bigger than my, my percent, not smaller. I need the decimal to look smaller than the percent for every problem. So this says to the left, it's got to be 0 .000 .00 0 .46. 0 .00. How many people got that one? That was a tricky one. Good for you. Last one, 9.1%. Again, two spots to the left, you get 0 .00. Nine, one. Do you have a better feeling about changing from percent to decimal to decimal to percent? Good, okay. We should be rock solid now because that's kind of something you need in your real life, isn't it? To be able to do that. One other thing that we can do, we can write fractions back as, as percentages. This is going back to what we did. So if we think of 3 elevenths and we want to write that as, as a percent, what you really need to know is that when you're trying to get a percent, you multiply by 100. And when you're trying to eliminate a percent, change from percent to a decimal, you multiply by 1 over 100 or divide by 100. That's the same operation. And so in our case here, if we want to make this into a percent, oops, that's not right. We're going to be multiplying just like we did over these, here with these numbers, multiply by 100%. No, just the top. Because really what you're doing, you're multiplying by 100% over 1. So in order to create a percent, you multiply by 100%. This is because a percent has parts over 100, right? We want to say, by the way, do you want to see that this is actually equivalent to 1? I'll show, I'll show it to you. 
I'll show you. Check, check this out. 100%. Follow me along here. You don't have to write this down. Just watch. Same thing as 100 times 1 percent, right? Yeah. 100 times 1 percent is 1 over 100. True? Yeah. Yes. Equals 1. You're actually only multiplying by 1. That's what you're doing. But you're multiplying by 1 in a special way to create a percent. Do you see the difference there? You're really not changing the value, okay? That's why these are all equivalent. They're all the same. It just makes a difference whether you have a percent there or a fraction there and a percentage at the very end. So really, when we're multiplying by 100%, uh, we are multiplying by 1 in a very unique way to create a percentage. We only do it to the numerator. So you're going to get, follow me along here, 300 over 11%. You follow? Can you change it back to a mixed number? Yes. Yeah, do it in your calculator if you want. Put in 300 over 11 using your fraction button. Press enter. It will automatically reduce that for you if it can and change it to a mixed number. You should get like, what is that? 27. Is it still a percent? This was the opposite of what we did just a moment ago, changing our mixed number percents into, into fractions. If you went backwards, you'd get that back again. You'd get that exact fraction back. Do you still feel okay with this? Now, I'll show you one more thing. This is on your calculator. Oh, by the way, if I, we're not going to do this example. I just want you to make you aware of this one. Maybe we will do it. Let's do this one together. What's the first thing we would do on this problem? One and one seventh as a percent. What do we need? Question. Show the question. Well, you change this into a mixed number. Divide 300 by 11. It's going to be 27 and 3 elevenths. So what do we do with this one? Eight over seven, sure. She said improper fraction, you're both right. So we have eight over seven. Can you tell me what I multiply by, please? One hundred percent. One hundred percent, yes. One hundred, no. One hundred percent, yes. One hundred percent is one. One hundred is a hundred. So we want one hundred percent. That's going to give you eight hundred over seven percent. Use your calculator, plug in 800 over 7, just press your equal sign. It'll reduce it for you automatically. And what do you get out of that, please? How much? It should be 11. No, it should be over 100, actually. We have 7. You still have a percent, right? Because yeah, yeah. that's the idea, is creating a percent. Now, real quick, real quick, with that on your calculator, with that on your calculator, there should be a button somewhere around there that says F arrow D. Do you see it? Yeah. Press that button. F, and then it has a little arrow D. It's going to change it from a fraction to a decimal. You might have to press the shift or the second button to get there. If you struggle finding it, see me after class, I'll show you exactly where it is. But if you press that button, it'll change 114 and 2 sevenths into 114 point, like 2 something. Did you do it? What is it? 285. And it goes on forever, right? So you can also change these things into decimals. Use your calculator. 114.28. Should be like two eight what? What's the rest of it? Two eight. It's a two eight five seven one four three. Five seven so two eight six then if you round it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay.